Have you ever pondered upon the perplexing nature of time? How it seems to slow down when you're waiting and speed up when you're having fun? An intriguing question, isn't it? Yet, the paradox of time is so much more than just this. Time, in its essence, may appear as a simple linear progression, a constant ticking of the clock. But when we delve deeper, we find it to be far more complex and paradoxical. What if I told you that time is not as uniform as we perceive it to be? That it's not the same for everyone everywhere? Intriguing, right? This is where the paradox comes into play. The perception of time can be highly subjective and variable, depending on a multitude of factors. This brings us to the doorstep of a vast landscape of knowledge where the seemingly simple concept of time turns into a labyrinth of paradoxes and complexities. So buckle up, my friends, as we set forth on this journey to explore the enigma that is time. As we delve deeper into the concept of time, we find that it's not as straightforward as it first appears. One of the most mind-boggling aspects of time is its unidirectional flow, often referred to as the arrow of time. Let's embark on a journey to understand this concept. The arrow of time, in essence, is the idea that time only moves in one direction, forward. It's the reason why we remember yesterday, but not tomorrow. It's the reason why we grow old, not young. It's the reason why we can't unscramble an egg or put spilled milk back into the bottle. But why is that? Why does time have this forward bias? Well, there are many theories, but one of the most widely accepted is the concept of entropy. Entropy is a measure of disorder or randomness in a system. According to the second law of thermodynamics, in an isolated system, entropy can only increase over time. This means things tend to move from a state of order to disorder, not the other way around. This idea of increasing entropy is what gives time its direction. It's why we can't put the pieces of a broken glass back together spontaneously, or why cream stirred into coffee never unstirs itself. The universe, in its relentless march forward, is constantly increasing its entropy, driving the arrow of time. Now, where did this all start? Many scientists believe the Big Bang set the initial conditions for the universe. At the moment of the Big Bang, the universe was in an extremely ordered, low entropy state. As it expanded and cooled, entropy increased, giving time its forward direction. But here's where things get paradoxical. The laws of physics, as we currently understand them, don't dictate a preferred direction of time. They work just as well backward as forward. So why does time have a preferred direction? This is the paradox of the arrow of time. The arrow of time, with its unidirectional flow, complicates our understanding of time, adding to its paradoxical nature. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of time, we uncover more questions than answers, but that's the beauty of science, isn't it? Always pushing us to question, explore, and understand the universe in which we live. Albert Einstein's theory of relativity introduced another layer to the paradox of time-time dilation. Time dilation, an intriguing concept, suggests that time can seem to decelerate or accelerate based on one's state of motion or closeness to a gravitational field. To understand this, imagine you're aboard a spaceship traveling close to the speed of light. According to Einstein's theory, the onboard clock would tick slower compared to a stationary clock on Earth. So, if you embarked on a light speed journey and returned after what seemed like 10 years, you might be startled to find that several decades or even centuries have passed on Earth. In a similar vein, gravity also affects the flow of time. Picture yourself near a massive object, say a black hole. The pull of gravity is so strong that it warps space-time around it. If you could somehow survive the immense gravitational force and return to Earth, you'd find that while only a few hours have passed for you, several years have elapsed on Earth. These scenarios might seem plucked straight from a science fiction novel, but they're actually grounded in Einstein's theory. This is the essence of time dilation. Time is not absolute, but relative to your speed and gravitational environment. This idea challenges our everyday perception of time. We're accustomed to the notion of a constant, unchanging flow of time. Yet the theory of relativity tells us that time can stretch and squeeze, much like a rubber band. It's not fixed, but malleable and influenced by gravity and speed. This concept is not just theoretical. It's been tested and confirmed by experiments, for instance. Atomic clocks flown in airplanes or placed on mountaintops have shown minute but measurable differences in time compared to their counterparts at sea level, supporting the predictions of Einstein's theory. 
Through time dilation, we see that time is not constant but relative, adding yet another layer to the paradox of time. Time dilation, in essence, shows us that time is a complex, ever-changing entity that continues to baffle and intrigue us. The paradox of time, with its complex layers, challenges our perception and understanding of the world around us. We've ventured through the enigma of time, grappled with the arrow of time, and explored time dilation through the lens of relativity. Each of these aspects, in its own unique way, contributes to the subjective perception of time and its paradoxical nature. As we journey through life, the paradox of time serves as a reminder of the intricate and fascinating realities that exist beyond our immediate understanding. The paradox of time reminds us that reality is often more complex and intriguing than it seems at first.